too bright, too bright. Okay. Hi guys. For dinner tonight, we're making a salad and also some salmon. The salad we're gonna make on a live. The salmon we'll do pre-recorded. All right, so we're gonna start. This is some orzo that I've already cooked, okay? And I'm gonna show you the box that it came in. All right, so on my phone, I got one person watching that was the update. Let's go. You're the first person on. Now you got 31. Okay. Well, like old times, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, now, so here's our orzo. For those of you who don't know, it's a teeny pasta that looks kind of like a grain of rice. It's bigger than a grain of rice. Hey, did you tell Terry? Then we made another Terry Cupid. I did. Okay. This is the box that it came in, the Barilla. Okay. So what you do is you bring your water to a boil, drop that in there, you boil it for about nine minutes, and then you drain it, just like pasta, because it is pasta. Okay. Now, for our salad dressing, you're gonna make, you're gonna use whatever brand of Greek dressing you want. I sent Jean to the store, and she got this Primal Kitchen. This is probably not the one I would have bought, but it'll do. Honestly, I probably would have got Paul Newman's. This one, though, is supposed to be... Um, under some kind of diet. What is it? Um, I wouldn't say plant-based. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, now, to this, we're going to add... Half of, the juice of half a lemon. And normally I would add a, about a half a teaspoon of red wine vinegar, but this Primal Kitchen smells like it has a lot of vinegar in it, so I'm not going to add it. Alright, here we go. Half a lemon. Juiced. Okay, now I've got some cut up cucumbers. Ooh. I got some cherry tomatoes. Now I've already cleaned all these. Somebody said Mediterranean, one person said paleo. Paleo, that's what I was looking for. That is what I was looking for. We got one red onion. You could do a half. I think I'm going to. Save about half of it. You can do whatever you want. Um, Kalamata olives. So let's add those. See if I can get them out here. You want about a half a cup. You can put as really as many as you want. We like olives. Olives have a lot of um, fat in them and can be salty. I love them. Mm. Yeah, you throw a lot of y'all out there, but it's really the you. The kids love them. We got some fresh basil. All right, let's give this a toss and see what we need to add more of. No, I'm gonna need some salt and pepper. Where's my little thing, Michael? My little wooden thing. Look how pretty that is. All right, now we're gonna add about four ounces or so of feta cheese, or to your liking, or you can leave it out. Hey, anybody that lives up north and it's really, really cold out there, can you tell me about it? Because I really want to hear. Do you? I'm so hot, babe. No, they don't want to hear about it because they're like freezing. I know, but it's like 90 degrees outside. It's freaking hot. Southern California had snow. I know, but I'm sweating outside. All right, let's add a little bit of salt and pepper. 
careful with the salt because your olives are gonna have a little bit. Mm, a little pinch. Like I went outside in the yard, just kind of, I try to walk around, get a little exercise in, and I'm sweating everywhere. It's not fun. I'd swap them for cold. One last thing that is kind of optional is, I think I might add a few more olives in here. Got seven inches of snow in New Jersey, and I could have went swimming today. It was probably in the 80s here, huh? Yeah, it was in the 80s. It was hot today. Mm-mm-mm. Am I forgetting anything, Michael? I don't know what's I think it's good. I think this is it. All right, let's give Daddy a taste. Oh, well, I am forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. Cheryl said right now it's 19 degrees. Get snowed all day. They're ready for spring. Let me get it for you. Well, come to Louisiana because I'm sweating. And if my pool was clean, I could have went swimming. This is a can of chickpeas. I just drained them in the same drainer that has the orzo in it. Okay. Now, I heated them up on the stove. They're not hot anymore. With a little bit of Greek seasoning and a little bit of lemon pepper. I knew I was forgetting something. I even left them over there on the stove thinking, Kelly, don't forget those chickpeas. Yeah, Cassie said they turned on their AC. Our AC's been on. Our AC's been on. Don't tell energy. <laughs> Energy is our electric company. Deborah wants to know where you got your shirt from. My sister got me that for my birthday. I don't know where she got it. She's at a pharmacy. Rhonda said it was 85 and Ethel. Hey, Rhonda. Maybe it was 85. I mean, she's like right down the road, not far, so it's probably 85 here. All right. Let's uh, get down here. been loving that heat, though. Yeah, he's happy. The animals are happy. Okay. I'm going to really enjoy this. Here you go. Let me know if it needs more seasoning. I meant more. Uh, what do I eat it with? Ooh, those are some big olives, Kelly. They'll be good. Here. Is this paleo? I don't know. I don't want to say yes because I could be wrong. There's all kinds of different rules. Mm, it's good. I don't think so because the orzo. Like it? Mm hmm Okay. This I is going like to go. I like it better without the holes. Take them out. I'll eat them. Mm. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Very good. I like the chickpeas. You do? He likes the chickpeas. Look how pretty the salad is. Very pretty. And it'll be good. Look how much of it. We'll eat it as a, uh, a side dish tonight to our salmon. And then we can have it for lunch all week. What do you think? You know what we're going to do? Hmm. Take bets on each bowl that we do. If Camille's going to like it. If Camille likes it, somebody wins a prize. I don't think she's going to like this one. You want to try it? Call her. The girls are. Jean and Carolyn love this. It's very much frame. Mm -hmm. Twins! I do like that kind of stuff. almost don't feel like cooking the salmon. This is good by itself. Mm-hmm. We're gonna cook it in the air fryer, so it'll be real fast. I'm giving it a taste, Caroline. I know you're gonna like it. Thanks. Oh yeah, very uh, captive Venetian. Mm. Like it's just Camille gonna like it. Mm. That's what we're all betting on. Oh, good. 
Yeah. Donna said to go with some grilled chicken. Mm-hmm. She's already picking out the onions. I figured. Was good. All right, let's see. Here's Camille's turn. I'm going now. What are you going with, Carolyn? No. Nope. I don't think she's ever liked anything in the book. I think she lies to us because, I, I mean, I think she says she hates That's it and then she wakes up in the middle of the night and eats it. I definitely don't do that. I mean, I don't like the olives in it, but I don't really like olives. I heard the olives was good. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. See, like, if you told me that came from a restaurant, I'd believe it. I just brushed over the last onions. All right. Well, we're going to put a picture of this and put it on the website. And we're going to have the reel out with the salmon in just a little bit. What are we going to call this? Or is it Mediterranean orzo salad? Yeah. Where's the salmon at? You got to cook it. Mm-hmm. What? Okay. Seven minutes. Okay. So we'll see you guys. Be on the lookout for that upcoming video on the salmon. It's going to be good. All right. We'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.